Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve triple laser by Keen Lux. By placing marks in the grid, click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. So this is a very difficult puzzle I have solved, but I want to show you this awesome thing that I found. Um, if you try to go through and solve the puzzle, you're only going to get uh, so far. So let's look here, 8, 8, and you got an 8 right there, right? And then let's look at the threes. You got a three coming down, three across. So you have in here, you have a pointing pair, pointing pair of threes, and which means that you're able to solve this for a three because you see that three right there. And because you can solve that for a three, this is a three, 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 um, and two spots for a three right here, right? And I'll, I'll mark that. Okay, anywhere else we can solve for three? Uh, nope. All right. And after that, you're not really going to get much farther with the puzzle. But what you want to do is you want to focus on these digits right here. Hopefully, maybe you saw there's a unique pattern going on. The one, two, and three here, and the one, three, and two there. Because that is where we're going to be able to figure out where to go next with this puzzle. Uh, and so uh, Shai talked about this first on the Sudoku discussion with Ranks and she talked about you know this exciting new strategy that they were using it's called firework well I'm gonna show you how the firework works because that's how you solve triple laser uh, honestly didn't really have a good idea how to solve this puzzle before that because I tried it and I tried using traditional methods didn't get very far you try it normal methods it's really hard puzzle that way so what's going on here you have this one two three here one two three here so where can a one two and three be in row one and column nine that's the question and you'll notice uh, that one two and three can only be in four spots right and i'll just make those in, in green and we'll get rid of this green Right? It can only be here. If it can't be in those three spots, it can only be in those three. Now, where can a one, two, and three be across row one? Also, just four spots. And so I'll, uh, I'll have those in pink. And it can't really overlap, but you get the point, right? Now, the way to think about this is you only have four spots, three cells. So the question is, does a one, two, or three have to be in one of these spots? And so if you say, no, you know, this is not a one, then what would that mean? Uh, this, is, this is not a one, two, or three. It means your one, two, or three would have to be jammed in those three places. So if you put a one, two, or three there, and I'll just show you what it looks like. Now, where could you put a one, two, or three in, col in column nine? Well, since those two are here, you can only put one of them right here in row one, column nine. You can't fill those two spots. And you can only put one other digit right there. Well, that's a problem, right? Because you only have two places to put all three digits, one, two, and three. So we know that the one, two, or three can't all be right there in the row, in block three. Likewise, same logic, they can't all be right here in these three spots of column nine. So one of the one, two, or three has to be here, and one of them has to be here. And once you figure that out, and you mark that that's just one, two, or three, and that's just a one, or two, or two, or three, then we can start solving this puzzle and moving forward. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the colors. And I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, it was just for explanation purposes right um, the three does does play and so what we can put and what we've figured out is this has to be a one two or three and this has to be a one two or three so how does that restrict the rest of this column all right let's look across this column so a seven can't be in here, here. It can't be here. 
So a seven can be here or, and it can't be here because of that seven. Used to be there, but it can't be there anymore. So now there's only one spot for a seven right there, right? Because of column six, column eight, and down here in block seven. That's what the firework gives you. All right, anytime you have this kind of thing where they meet together, that's the firework. Um, I'll tell you, Keenlux, Shy, they admit they like kind of putting these on the outskirts, so that's what you can look for. And then I did that previous solve of Kimono, and I'll put a link to that right here, and you can check it out. Similar idea, it, and it's awesome. And once you figure out how to do that, it's really, really cool. Uh, and, and then now it kind of opens up the world possible. It's super cool to put in there, Keenlux, I love it. So now let's look at here, seven, seven, and got a seven column eight, so now we can solve that for a seven. And once we solve that for a seven, you can see this can't be a seven, there's only one spot for a seven in block one, and then there's only one spot for a seven block two, and seven, okay, and so there, there's, let's, yeah, two spots for a seven, we'll mark that there, and there's two spots for a seven, we'll mark that there. But look how much progress we made, we started able to fill out a lot more of the uh, cells in the grid. All right, so let's look at the next eights. Eight and row set, uh, eight and nine. Only one spot left for an eight down here. And see, you're, you're noticing now we can kind of solve all these spots. Got that three right there. I didn't mean to mark that as a three. You can tell the three is already there, but it could be a one or a two, right? Uh, and then what's left here? One, two, or a four. You got a one right there, so that's a two, four. And you got a two coming in here. So that's a one, four. So you have like a naked triple going on here with the one, twos, and fours. Um, anything else I can do with the eights while I'm looking at them? There's a pointing pair of eights right here because the eight come across row six, which means now the eights are limited to these two spots in block three. Okay. Anything else I can do with the eights? No. Nope. All right, so now I'm gonna look for more restrictions. Keep going across row nine. Uh, yeah, the one, two, and a four. What other cells seem to be restricted? So you can see there's a six and a six. Six are in these two spots, I'll mark that. Which means the six has to be one of those two spots, I'll mark that. What else, four? Four can be in more than one spot, so I'm not going to mark that. Okay. Uh, and then maybe, you know, I kind of, I was just focusing on row nine, but I'm not seeing as much fruit there. Let's instead, let's focus here on column four. So right here, you got one, three, one, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So we're missing uh, a five. We're missing a six. Uh, two five six so that can be five six this can be a two six and that can be a two five all right so another naked triple nice uh let's kind of focus here on block six what are you noticing to coming across two four six and eight those are all the evens one three seven nine all the odds except for a five that has to be a five that's a naked single um, and i've covered you know, looking at uh, solving all the single cells before in uh, one of my videos, I'll put a link to it here where you can kind of get your eyes on looking at, you know, when there's only, you know, four givens in a column, but then you have, you know, three to four going across the row. How can you focus in on that and find and solve for that? All right, so we have a six coming up here. So now this is a, a six is already pointing pair and so it means sixes have to be one of these three spots right there what we have left uh, two four six and eight right because uh, again these are all odds which is kind of interesting there's a two and eight there so that's got to be a four or a six two four six eight and two six eight because I can see the four cross row one cool uh, I think keep in mind too is that the one, two, and three, you know, there's one there and then two of them have to be in this spot. So we'll keep that in mind. All right, what else can we see here in the in the block? And let's see as it affects row six. You know, row six, uh, you got here one, two, three, four, five, six. So there can be a seven or a nine right there. 
So that's pretty restrictive. That's good for us. And then other things we might notice are, you know, can come across now row six, since there's five spots filled in, a one, three, seven, and nine. You got the seven and nine right there. So this is actually restricted to just a one and three, and three and a seven, so that's restricted to a one and nine. And then here, it can be a one, three, seven, nine, but I'll mark that. All right, so we got a two five there, a one three there. Quite quite a bit of restriction going on, which is kind of nice. So where's the next area we might want to focus on? So a couple things I'm noticing: uh, the two comes down column five. So there is a uh, point pair of twos. So twos two. So twos can't be in these spots anymore. Other thing: four cutting across row one and column four so those spots are four so that's another pointing pair so we can actually eliminate the four from there because now the fours are a pointing pair and so it gives us a two six eight a two six eight four six and then the fours are going to be in one of these three spots there but i'm not going to mark it because that's not the normal snyder there okay now we got the threes in those two spots uh, a one, you can see there's only two spots for a one in block one. So I'm going to mark that. And you see, we've no, kind of transitioned to like a normal solve now. But it's not a solve that's incredibly hard or tedious. This is me just going through and doing some scenario notation, looking for some restrictions in the grid, and being able to uh, finish the solve out. Okay. So let's look at the five, cutting across. There's only one spot left for a five in block three. Not sure how long that's been there, but it's been there, which creates now a four or five naked pair right here, which is nice. And now, and I got a five, that's a six. And since that's a six, this is a four. And you can see now this is a two a one and a four, which really helps solve all those. The two's down there, so you can get rid of the twos there, and that gives us a six, eight. The four, five right there is gonna give us an eight, nine naked pair right there. Since we have an eight, nine, now this has to be a six, and that's an eight. Okay, great. And so now that we've got the eight, nine, we know one, two, three is what's remaining in row one. You got a two, three in column eight. So that's your one. That's not a one. And this is gonna be now a two, three. Okay. And what's remaining there? Two, three, and a nine. You got a two, three there. So that's your nine. And we can finish off the two, three naked pair. Since we just saw that for a nine, now that has to be a seven. That's a seven. Uh, no more seven here, but since we marked two sevens, it does have to be there. So I can get rid of that seven. And I'll get rid of this marked, oops, marked seven spot right there. Okay, and so we got two spots remaining here. What are they? Uh, six and a nine. You got your nine, so that's uh, a nine, and that's your six. And then we're looking for four and eight. I don't think we can solve the four and an eight yet. So we'll just mark that as a naked pair. Wow. All right. What's the one remaining cell here in row three? It's one. That's a call of full house. We're able to solve that. Looking good. And we now can look and see here uh, what's remaining in block one. So need a two, three, six, and a nine. So. Two, three, six, nine. Yeah, I can't really solve much more than that other than we can get rid of this three right here. And then we know that six, nine, you know, is coming across. So that, that doesn't really give us a lot more info. All right, what did we solve now? So now you want to kind of just like look again for more restrictions. 
Let's look down row nine again. We got the two, we got the five, and the six. Uh, there's a six right there, so that's got to be a two five. And because those could both be two, five, and six. And we know the sixes are restricted down there already. Okay, not a big deal. What about any other you know columns that are that are more restricted? Oh, yeah, we saw that six in column four, so now that's a two, and that's five, which is huge. All right, so five, five. We got two spots for five right here. Nice. Uh, two. So now this, the twos have to be down there, and oh yeah. So since that was a two, that has to be five. So now this is a two six. What I was trying to say is that's a two six naked pair. I'm trying to be all fancy about it. And since we just solved that five, now we got a four and a five here, right? And four and a four. One of those spots has to be a four. And then we can solve actually that for a six and that for four because we only had one spot left, one marking for the six remaining, right? Four, four, one spot for a four and block seven. And now we know that's not a one because the one in column two, so that's your nine. That's your one, and then that's going to be your nine to finish off block eight. And now we got we solved that nine, so now we got an eight, nine there. And the two is the only thing left in column six. Great. So let's look across row eight here. We're missing a one and we're missing a five. We got the five up in column three. So that's your one, that's your five. And then since we just solved that five, we can solve that for a five. Alrighty. And since we just solved that, we got that one. That means that's got to be your nine. We can get rid of that nine. And we're looking for one, three, now naked pair. What's in the middle here? It would be a one, a three, and an eight. So this is going to be a one, eight, and this would be a three, eight right now. Okay, I can't really solve more of it yeah, yet, but we will soon. We're really near the end here. Uh, really getting close. So let's just finish up. That can't be a nine anymore. Uh, we're looking for a two, a four, and a six. So that can be a four or six. And that can be a two or a four. Okay. How about up here in column two? We're missing a two, three, six. That can't be a nine anymore. Got the two and a three already, so that actually can be solved for a six. Since that's a six, that's two, that's a six. And then we can solve now that for a three. Alright, and then this is a four. That's a two. That's an eight. That's a four. This is a one. This is a three. This is your eight. Here's your one. There's your three. Here's your two. There's your three. Kind of like you know one, twos, and three that started it all off. Here's your six, and we finish off with our nine. If you want to see more solving like this. Check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you, King Lux, for letting me feature these puzzles on my channel. You're an amazing setter. I love the creativity you bring. If you want to support the channel more, check out the Buy Me a Coffee link below. I'd really appreciate it. I can offer you even more great Sudoku content. Thank you so much for watching.